time You're wasting mine I hate to see you leaving Pain worse than dying Gave me asthma. So that's what I'm fucking leaving. And your water gave me cancer. And the pain that hurt my feelings. Hello! Oh my god, it's been so long since I've streamed. I apologize, I've been not well as of recent, but now I feel much better. I'm ready to stream, I feel motivated, I'm really excited to stream after, what, months? Like a month or two? Now I'm really hyped up. I just watched Rovers and Cam's uh, podcast, and that got me motivated to do this. Oh yeah, shout out to Rover, because he makes great uh, podcasts. And I they're very enjoyable. But without further um without further ado, I guess we can begin. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this this soundtrack not soundtrack, but the music. It swears a lot. <laughs> Which I'm fine with, but still, it's not uh, not what I'm looking for. But I guess we begin. We can begin. I started this um want. I started this wanting to um this to be a hundred days video, but I've tried over and over again. I just don't feel good doing it. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, I uh, I died like two times, so this is basically a start. Uh, I hope everyone's good. Me personally, I've been fine. Uh, summer's been pretty good. No hot weather. Well, not that much of hot weather. It's actually pretty cool, and I like cool weather. It's actually yeah, rainy and cloudy. Hope everyone's well. I think I already said that. <laughs> Whoops. I found a mine shaft and uh, that didn't go well. As you can see. That was a diamond there. That was a diamond there, but uh yeah, not the best. Uh, 
but then then join me. I might change the music. I don't know. Oh, there's a temple over there. Let me lower down the music a little bit and you can hear more of the sound effects. There you go. I guess you guys should hear it better. Oh, look at that. It's right next to a village. Ah, lag. Yeah, this game does not run well when it comes to streaming or recording. Mainly streaming for some reason. Might be too loud now. These guys are really friendly and I don't know why. They're neutral, apparently. Oh, that's a different kind of freaking enemy. No, it's just enchanted. Um, if you didn't see already, this is um, better Minecraft. That's actually what this is. It's just a mod pack. What's it doing? Okay. I'll leave you for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, get away from the door. Guys, help me out. Guys. Go, 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 go. Guys, help me out. Well, that was your fault for not helping out. You had crossbows. What the heck is that? I played this mod pack like a couple of times. I've never seen that. What is that? It's like a weird castle. Well, I'm not going there anytime soon. Let's just sleep and relax. Ba -ba -da -ba. I had a stupid rooster. Yeah. Hello. As long as there's no mobs near me, we should be fine. Yeah. Ooh, uh, Diamondes, hello. A honey bottle. Took the iron too. Ooh, that's really good. This is a really good thing to have. Can you even make this? I don't think you can. Bop, bop, then bop, bop. Put forty six. There we go. Uh, not but uh, it's been a while since I streamed, so sorry if I'm um kind of quiet. I had to get back to my my groove. Whoa! Look at this group. Look at them. They're just chilling. Hi, Shane. Blech, that was gross. Hope you're doing well, Shane. I am pretty good myself. I wonder what this is. Is that entrance to this place? Alright, Wilbur, calm down. Let's see. 
Oh, there is an entrance. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> I think I was a bear. That's yeah, it's just a bear. It scared me. That's not your cast day. I'm sorry to tell you. Okay. You're a dictator? I don't think that's how that works. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there is so many. Let me just take care of this. Oh, crap! I put seeds on my hand. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, did it crash? I hope not. I'm just gonna... Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, 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 Go, go, go. Oh, God. Okay, go, 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 We good? Okay. I think we're good. Let me... Let me turn all these off. There we go, should run a little better. Uh, very funny, Shane. That's, that's, that's quite funny. Screw you. Ah, yay, yay. Ah, yay, 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 yay. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Come on, man. It was just a prank. Oh god. Now they're both following me. Uh oh. Uh oh. I. I did not mean to do that. That was. I just wanted to know what happened. And I almost died. Ostracize the ones who love me. I didn't bully you. You're the one who decided to... Hello, little man. Ow! Ow! Ah! Hey! What's the matter with you? I'm gonna kill you, you dumb snake. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Oh, you three? Oh, my dear God. Ow. Ugh. Gosh. Alright. Good to know. Don't... Don't go near nature. I've learned something today. Don't go near nature. Because nature will... Aha, very, very funny. Right. Last English voice. Last English for your time. Uh, why did I do that? So I think about this mod pack I still have no idea about. I'm gonna- Ow! What the- Ah, uh, stone flowers. Flowers even attack you in a desert. I hate it. I don't like it. Hello, cattails. You never hurt me. Dumb ostrich. Is that a door? Door to what? That That is beyond scary. What is this? Oh, okay. So it's a complete entrance. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
No, 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 no. Okay, you good? Y y you're good. Is there frogs? Um, not from what I'm seeing, no. I don't think there's frogs. Let me check. Oh, they are frogs. I didn't, I have not seen, I have not seen one. Yes, there are frogs in this pack, Shane. Ow. <laughs> People love frogs, and that's what that's what people like. Can yucca flowers even do anything? Like great die. You'll never know when they're useful. I do have a game later on I want to play because my friend made it, and but that'll be later. Oh, I know that house. That's full of, that's, they're probably with hunters, but also with food. Hmm. Time to be adventurous, I guess. Or I do. Alright. Oh, that house is destroyed. Hello there. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, bloody yick. I'm gonna kill you and your brother. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Ho 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 That scared me. That really scared me there. There we go. More food is always good. And a boomerang. I forgot about boomerangs. I could just. A cap. <laughs> Why did it trigger you? <laughs> it was because it was so bad. I wouldn't be surprised. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow. No, cuz you're so good. The worst thing about Barmarines is I don't know if they come back or not. You know, you would think with this mod they would do that, but. Mm. It would make it that Boomerangs will come, but. Ow. Da, 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 sleep. I always go bottom bunk. I just don't trust my weight a little bit. There we go. Carry that bed. Where's the bed? I picked the worst place to have my bed at. Us over here. This is the worst. Now I can't even find my bed because it matches with the, with the. Oh, there it is. Shane, I hope your day was good. Sometimes my game just likes to lag for some reason. Oh, there we go. I'm glad to hear it. This game just loves to freeze because it can't run that well. I mean, it can, but sometimes it just freezes every so often. What? What even happened? Uh, my days are fine. Oh, there it is. Oh, nope. There it is. Um, that'd be good. I've watched uh, Rover's uh, podcast featuring Ninten. 
talk about streaming and recording, and it got me motivated to stream again. So I'm gonna stream again, and I'm gonna stream next week, like I is like I was wanted to. What the fly? Uh, not going near any of that because I just probably go this way, actually, because I went this way. Those little bummer moments. You might stream on Wednesday. I hope you have a good stream. Um, there were a few bummer moments. Like I, there was like three videos I had recorded and one of them wasn't completed, but the other one I was basically done with the edit, and then it just everything changed. I guess. Um, so what's fun about that one is the fact that it, what will I stream? I have zero idea. Yeah, I usually have no idea what I stream. It's just whatever I could think of or pops up. But yeah, um, I had two. I, yeah, two videos I had an idea of. One of them I finished recording. It was ready to be edited. Actually, it was going to be edited. No, published. No, rendered. That That's that's the word. But, um... I don't know what happened. It just completely stopped. And then... Completely fair. Completely fair. Look at that. Ah, hello. There's a uh, torches there. I don't know what that's about. I want to find out. I should make a bow, but. Who needs a boat when you have legs? Hello? Who, uh... Ah, bah, 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 run, 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 run. Whoa. You doing okay, buddy? You seem kind of troubled. Are you gonna... Are you gonna... Hey, you gonna attack or anything? Dummy. Oh, it does trail back. That's cool. Frick you. Aqua crystals. Oh. Gives water faster water speed. That's cool. Hello, Karma. Hope your day is good. And welcome to the stream. Ba -ba -ba -ba.
Lab, no. It makes me wonder if I had, there's actually other boomerangs. Nope, that's just it. Pop. Pop that. There's the boat. Hello, boat. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about this thing. I got a Yakka boat. Yuka? Yaka? I don't know. Trail forth. To the land of the sea. Well, sea of land. Land sea? If I remember correctly, these aren't usually good. Should I grab carrots? I don't even know. I'm just grabbing whatever I think is suitable for my needs as a grown adult. Grown man, not whoever you think I am. <laughs> Sorry if the audio is kind of weird. I don't know. Because it's been a while since I streamed. Pigeons, get away from me. Why are you even bullying me? I just want to have a nice time. And you just... You just like to bully me. That's basically my life. There's an amethyst. Look at that. As always, set up bed. There we go. Put my stuff in here. I should probably make armor. That'd be smart. Put my freaking craft table thing. Oh, the zombie thing. Yeah, some people want to try to take advantage of that, but I don't trust myself. Gold stuff. Cool. Bucket, some gunpowder. Don't know why that doesn't work. Ah, uh, it's a skeleton room. Ow. Can you stop? Sorry, you were just vibing. Ooh. Hood's thief. Whoa! Look at me! I'm like that weird creature from Star Wars. I go, Ding my tea! At least I think I would be. There we go. Aether Dragon Egg. Still cool. Sorry, I attached a chilled friend. Do this before. There we go. Another dragon egg. I'm not complaining. There we go. Eh. Oh, yeah, these vexes. Actually, no, I'll just keep these. Get down. There we go. These guys don't do anything. Ooh, a spell blade. Spell blade, huh? You guys can make creepy sounds. Gold 
Phantom map range. Hello. Vision of Ender. For those who don't know what Vision of Ender does, basically you put on your helmet. Ow. Now you attack. I should probably just take this. And take this. Bada beam, bada boom. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Phantom Membrane. No, fa no. Oh god. Oh dear god. Now they're attacking. I should probably take this off now. I don't know why they start attacking now. There we go. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Hello. I will take you. I lost my train of thought. It's fine. Oh, they didn't drop anything else. Bones. Hello, Bones. I don't think I'm missing anything else besides looking upstairs, which is a lot of gold. Which I probably need, so let's... Actually, well, let's sleep about it. Well, excuse me. There we go. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. Thank you, Ellen B, for the follow. Appreciate it. And I hope your case is good. Holy crap, I don't know why that scared me. <laughs> the begin... The Beginning. It just tells me things I don't know. Uh, so what's supposed to happen, right? Okay, nothing happened. Beef? What do you... Why'd you say beef? There's nothing about beef. I thought it was a witch for a second. Let's see. Wood, wood, meat, meat, diamond, armor. I think that's it. What can I use it for? Nothing really. I mean, beef is fine. Uh, I don't need a freaking another dragon egg. Oh, they stack. Mm. This place is scary. There's that ship, so I should go. Mm, let's go this way. Ow.
Okay, calm down. Calm down. I don't think it is, Will. Just, uh, just warning you now, I don't think it is. Is there anything here? No, that's just a torch. Oh my god, they go really fast. Holy crap. That's exactly... That's exactly what I wanted to see. Hmm. All right, calm down. See, they are friendly. They're fine. Let me change the music. Cause it's just kind of sad. Okay, um, what to put on? What to put on? Um, here we go. I think this is better. These are all fan made uh, music discs. Of Minecraft. This should hot me up a little bit. Ow! Screw you, plant. You know, not just having a music I would put in a music disc, but it is nice music. Hello, Crow. Bye, Crow. Heck was that sound? No, 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 go away. Once again, time to sleep. All right, have a good sleep, Ellie. Whoa, look at that. Um, I'll take that. Ah. This is pretty loud music. There we go. Heck yeah. Alright, next one. Oh. There we go. Man, these ether drag Mendy book. Ooh. Mighty tasty, my friend. Mighty tasty. Oh my 
my god. Stop. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, good. Ah, crap. Go away, raccoon. Was there any weapon to defend myself? There's this bow. Die. Jeez. Take this, take that, take this. Transfer items. That was unneedly hard. Yeah, die you. More phantom membranes and fifty pickaxe. Okay, more phantom membranes. Um. What's the least food? Steak. St I don't like how I said that. Steak. You know what? There you go. Zoro mirrored. Zoro mended. I guess I'll need this gold. Do you think I can make this? You know, I probably can. Let's go! Yeah! I'm the king of that! Right, Kim, if you come near me, I'm going to kill you. I warned you! Uh, probably up here, maybe? No. I do not have a pickaxe for me, so let's just do that. I guess it only works with here. That's the only food I can give you. Now run off. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go. Or come near me. Uh, this way. Yeah. I want to talk about the reason why I prefer streaming than recording because, you know, I watched um, Rover's podcast about him talking about which does Cam like more Twitch or YouTube or no stream or recording. And for me personally, I prefer streaming. I just, I think it's easier for me because I could all, I could do it all in one and I could get all my energy out. Just recordings, you feel like you need to put it, you need to, you need to um, not only, um, not, what, what am I talking about? I just don't like editing my voice. I, I don't like my voice. And it's annoying that I have this problem. Because I love editing. I love in doing video editing. But I don't know what that does. I'll, I'll keep it for now. I just find it more stressful to sit down and edit, especially if it's on my own voice. 
I don't know. I have that weird stress about that. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a problem that most people have. Hello, elephant. So when it comes to um, streaming, I could just download the video from Twitch and put it on YouTube, but that'll be the end of it. You know, I don't have to deal with the stress of recording, uh, and I have to edit my video. It's cool if other people do. It's really cool. I get inspired by a lot of people, but I just can't do it. That's cool looking. I just can't do it. Probably get blocks ready. I hope I understand that because sounds annoying if I go through it again. Oh dear god. Okay, okay, well I'm not coming back here. Yeah, exactly. I'm at my happiest when I don't stream, you know? I mean, when I don't record. I like recording with others because they get to edit that, or I can edit for others with my voice in it because it's mostly them talking. But I just can't do it with my own. I get so unmotivated, you know? Thank you, Shane. What the heck was that? What was on fire? Oh no! The elephant's on fire! Don't worry, elephant, I'll help. I'll help, I'll help, help. I gotta help him. Before he catches on fire and dies. Go, 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 go. There you go, friend. I saved you, friend. Are you sure if I attack one, all of them will attack me? So I'd rather not. And plus, why would what I want to attack an elephant? These don't do anything. I've been wondering what it does. It doesn't really do anything. Tooth lantern. No, I felt like that was. Um, what was a film called? It has Nacho Thornberry in it. Going, yeah. I can't even forget what that uh, movie is called, where she uh, tries to save this elephant herd from the poachers or people who want to kill kill them. This girl and this um, monkey friend. Oh, she could talk to animals, but in that movie, she couldn't. So it's all about her trying to figure out how come and why, you know? Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> I still don't know what a kiln does. Yeah, the thorn bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad you can understand. Three for a shear? No, that seems a bit weird. <laughs> 
I had it on a DVD and I watched it at least 20 times. I really liked it. It was such an interesting idea. Then I watched the freaking Rugrats one that he did. And my god, was it, uh... It was something. Remember when DVDs were, like, really popular? And then... Now people don't use it because they have streaming, um... You are a dummy. Uh, they have streaming platforms. Yeah, you remember? I have Vin Diesel as the dog. Which was pretty funny. Um... You sold your DVDs? Hey, I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. They're kind of a dying fad. Aren't they? It's kind of sad. Like, I remember I was so happy to get, um... The full, like, um... Star Wars DVD case with Darth Vader and all. All their five episodes. What is he doing up there? And then what happened was. And now it's on DVD. Okay, see you, Shane. Now it's on DVD. No, it's not on DVD. It's on um, it's on Disney Plus, and that makes me kind of sad. I used to love VHS as a kid, and then DVDs I was fine with. TV services are good. Don't get me wrong. It's great to have it. It's amazing. You get like... But Disney's really expensive. But you have like 6 or $7 a month to watch basically anything that isn't marketed to be paid for. It's great. I like it. But, um... I don't mean to say, um, it's... What the heck? Look at this big boy. Ancient remains. Hello. You know, a smart person would make this a farm, but I'm not smart enough to do that. I don't know why I felt like I was going to get emerald, and look at that. I have emerald now. It's kind of sad to see... Something like that happened, but I felt like there's always going to be something better. Blu-ray tried to do that. Blu-ray freaking stinks. It's not a good streaming platform. Let me tell you. Not streaming platform. It's not, um... Is there anything in here? Nope, just you. Hello. What did I meant to say? I guess it's just me being old and me missing the good old days when I was younger. But yeah, I will be sad because that stuff is long gone now. Now we have streaming services, which you get something for free for a month basically what the heck what is this what is this should I even come down here oh it's the prison again oh this is new what is this I don't, I don't understand. It's supposed to be like a storage? What is this?
Embrace change. Witherhead. Okay. Cool, I guess. Don't know why it's here. But it's cool. I got a freaking Weatherhead. Do you use it besides anything? The Weatherite? That's it, huh? Sad. What is with these? Let me just light it up for you, I guess. Hello, cows. Sorry, I have to deal with this. Go what? Go nuts. There you go, friend. Go nuts. Oh my god, you are completely useless. Ah! Thanks for nothing, friend. <laughs> There you go. Hello, Gordy, and thank you for the follow. I hope you're good. Hope I, I hope your day's going good. <laughs> I was just talking about how old I basically am. Because I have VHS, VA, VHSs and DVDs. Now people don't use them anymore. What's this? So many fires, man. Why? You can hurt yourself from this. Nothing there. Oh, uh, I'm I've got to hear it. Um, I'm pretty good myself. Just kind of relaxing, and enjoying the enjoying the um the stream, um just enjoying my playing Minecraft, just talking to people about live and stuff, you know. Minimal stuff. Or the same thing. Oh yeah, in case you don't know, if you didn't read the title, basically this is called Better Minecraft Mod Pack. It basically brings Minecraft, make it a little more adventurous instead of kind of boring and plain. Right now it seems simple. Hi, cat. But later on it gets more and more, you know? This feels like a superhero kind of song. This is not like a Minecraft music disc. Ah! Okay, I'm good. Ow! Mostly you get from this, from these is me being stupid, don't know what I'm doing. Just flopping like a fish all over the place. So if you like that, then you'll like me. Ooh, iron. Chess minecart? <laughs> this is not an abandoned mine shaft. What are you talking about? Game, this is not a. Okay, whatever. Take it, I guess.
love this. Yeah, um... I love this mod pack very much. I didn't need that. Because it brings the basic vanilla and kind of makes it more of an explorable world, I guess. Is the best way to say it. I guess I can sleep here. Ah. Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel really bad. Yeah, there, there's a lot of things I still don't know about this mod pack. Like that, for instance, that giant bone structure. That hold emeralds and me throwing my sword. And, <laughs> and husk, which was really cool. Hey, stop moving. Would you kindly stop moving for a second? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop being mean. Oh my god. What's that Patterson? Come at me, you dummy. Oh, now I feel bad for calling that dummy because they didn't drop anything. In case you were wondering, um, okay, just in case you're wondering, uh, do I have a stream schedule? No, I stream whenever I want, but I'm trying to go back to once a week. So expect me to stream or, yeah, stream, I don't know what the or was, on once a week or... If I usually do it, it's once a month. <laughs> Sad thing is, I enjoy streaming. It's just sometimes I just don't know what to stream. And I feel like it's boring to do the same things over and over again, you know? Oh, yes, because... Oh, look at that. It's a scorpion. That's really cool looking. Um, just in case you wanted to know, my pronouns are he, they, she. So I, buy, I go by any pronouns, basically. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Love that happens. Okay, whew! That can be really bad. Cave. Should probably block this. Because I don't trust anything. Honey black. Emerald. I have plenty of that. Gold, I'll take that. Iron, I'll take that. More iron. If it's just two. I think I'm all set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, I'm too short. Ba, 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 ba. Woo! Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Sometimes you need to scream out to have energy again. Sometimes it doesn't work, you know? A birth of the sugar cane. I stream myself, and sometimes I find it hard to let that joy as well. It's something that my viewers will enjoy. And thanks for your pronouns. I was about to ask them. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's hard to... No matter what platform you are in... Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. doesn't matter what platform you're in. It's always hard to... To figure out what to do for streams and what you can really talk about. For me, it's just, I get to random topics in my head. Like, one minute I will talk about, I don't know, um, space. And the next minute I'll talk about how, how water works, you know? <laughs> you know, that's, 
kind of what's in my brain sometimes. So to break off silence, it does help me personally with talking with people. It makes me figure out, oh, I could talk about this or I can respond with this, you know? Like sometimes you don't even need a game to really rooted dirt. Uh, you don't need a game to what am I talking about? You don't need a game to have an enjoyable time. You can just talk. Like for instance, Rampu sometimes like Rampu when he Minecrafts <laughs> when he streams Minecraft, he just walks around. Like he does this and he just talks to his viewers. That's something I like to do. Welcome back. Welcome back, Shane. Also, haha, ha, you're very funny, Shane. I mean, I don't talk to people in real life. It, it just helps. Creepy, but he's my friend. I enjoy his company. Ah! This I don't. Remember, kids. Evo avoid any plants, because they will just kill you. Flowy, flowering pale bird's leaves. Don't know what that means. Yep. Yep. Gorty, if you have any more questions about me, uh, let me know, because I'm kind of an open person. When it comes to, not like personal stuff, you know, but like, what's your name, age, um, social security number, your mom's maiden name, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> I am, I can't talk to people face without crying. I get that, we all have that kind of, um, social anxiety. It's a real issue, and some people, they can't really do anything about it because when it comes, when it comes to um, being socially anxious, it's hard to go over, um, overcome that. Ooh, that's a giant windmill. <laughs> um, look at that, it's underground too. I don't know how security numbers work. <laughs> so. Why well, is that white stuff? That's. Looks like snow. Or salt. Ow. Oh, of course. Oh dear God! No, 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 no! Run, 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 run! I need to run! I need to run! I need to run! Ah! Oh. oh my God! That could have been bad. Shane, keep a PC thirteen, please. I get the joke, but like. Keep a PG-13. Oh yeah, kiss. Um, ow. A1 knew. Doesn't know. I don't swear. It's not like a thing like, oh, it's... Oh, it's, it's, um, it's, f it's for reasons so I can get more popular. No, I just find, oh gosh, I just find swearing to be very uncomfortable to say. I don't know, I just don't like to swear. Sometimes I say God or like H-E double hockey stick. Sometimes. But that's like a Nahina moment thing. But yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty PG-13 kind of person. I don't swear 
and um in streams. Me and Bob uh, talked about it. Talked about why I don't swear. And this is why I basically said to her, what's the point of swearing? It's just another thing to add, which doesn't really do that much. Sure, with insulting or she'll ground her friends, it's fun, but... I'm sure. But for me, I just don't understand why... I don't even know what Blood Moon it does. Yeah, not going there. Oh, this place looks cool. It's little trees, but it's nice. Big trees, I mean. I understand that. Like, I get why people do swear. I just don't get what's the point of it, you know? Like, if someone says, um... I swear to gosh, um, he did this. I just add, I swear the F word, he effing did that, that son of a B. Like, what's the point? <laughs> you know? Ugh, I don't like the slop sounds that it makes him, that does that. Yeah, gross. Ah, stop. Again, I I don't really mind if you swear or not. That's completely normal. It's normal to swear or not to swear. It's more of like a reason why, I guess. I don't know the reason why to it. I don't have a bed. Son of a hockey stick. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, cool. Ooh, another one. I'll take that. Ah, no. Oh, it's not a skeleton one. Oh, I could just get this one. Ow. Is that suffocating? What is happening? Hello. What's happening? Hello? Hello? Okay, we're good. How's that sound? Uh, I do miss having this on. That's way better. Oh, it's Vex is making that sound. Why is this Vex here? A baby a man heard too bad I thought it was kids but kids show but they ain't I mean a lot of shows you think oh it's just a kid's show, it's not gonna do that much. But I learned personally it's not just some weird kid show. 
sometimes you have deeper meanings to it. Like Gravity Falls, for instance. I thought it was just some kind of silly little adventure game. Not adventure game, adventure show. But as time went on, I realized that it's not just some silly adventure show where they go and find monsters. It's more, more than that. That's why I always say, if you don't know anything about it, then don't put in low expectations, I guess. Because you never know. Especially if it's a Disney property, of course. Of course it's gonna go out. Oh, it just suffocated. Seeming universe flashbacks. Well, I, was, I guess that's kind of a mix, isn't it? Adventure Time for me is more of a mixed bag. For me, I guess. It was an okay show, but like, it had a lot, a lot of deeper meanings than you would think it would have. I have a song stuck in my head from it. For instance, another show that that's like got okay, but it still had like a lot of good meetings and morals to it is Adventure Time. That's another show that I thought it was. Just, I just thought it would be a little goofy, um, kid show. Kind of wanted to stay like that, but I understand why they would um. Not make it like that. Make it something else. I'm glad. I That's like one of my favorite shows of all time. Again, another example is Futurama. I thought that would be some kind of futuristic... Um, Adventure with a robot who loves to drink and all that. But if you haven't, but if you've seen a show, you'll know it has so much more to it. It has so much more of a deeper meaning. Ugh. All I'm saying is, yeah, just don't. You were never allowed? I mean, my parents allowed me to watch um, South Park when I was like, what, four? So I guess it makes sense that I would just go ahead and um, do that. Ah, gosh. Rick and Morty is okay. I thought it was a fine show. It's not like the... Sorry, I don't know where it's been. I thought it was a fine show. Ow. Stop. Ah, don't do that. Yeah, I do remember that. I'm saying it more as a personal... That's the thing I used to do. But you're only... Well, I don't watch PBS shows. I mean, I love PBS shows when I came. Like, Martha Speaks? Mmm, that was my favorite. Do you not? Don't know how that didn't hit me. Where are you? Alright. Martha Speaks, um... Me and you is a boombafu? No, it was called Zaboombafu. Oh, look at that, four diamonds. That was great shows. Martha Speaks was like always my second favorite, but my most favorite is definitely Word Girl. Word Girl was so good of a show. I never was an author guy. 
I never understood why people liked Arthur. And I watch all these clips on Twitter. I'm like, what the heck? How did these all just slide through? How is this all okay? Was well, this another just another? Yeah, it's just another one of these. Yeah, word girl. Word up. I would play it on stream, but I don't know if it's copyrighted. Whoa, look at this place. I have zero idea if it's copyrighted or not. Because it had a uh, attitude. It did have a weird sense of attitude, didn't it? Never understood. I don't know. I guess I have a portal now. This one's nice. Uh, the clip of Arthur I'll always, always remember. It's one where Arthur says, You better be quiet or I'll sell you. I'm like, what the heck? Why would you say that to your own? I mean, the sister was always a bit mean. This is really relaxing music. Training animals. Deals no damage. What's the point then? These are never good. Making these safe for the villagers who want to be in here. Why don't you just pop it? Chimp pimples are always not that hard to um, to get rid of. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, don't whine about it. <laughs> I'm kidding. That sounds really mean. I'm really I'm just kidding. Uh bop, 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 bop. What to do, what to do, what to do. There's a reason I don't, sorry. There's a reason I don't use um, Twitch as much. Like I, I occasionally watch streams. Like I watch like three streams every so often but I keep fighting these really cool streamers that I'm really inspired to be or have yeah to be or to hopefully one day meet like sneak snag he has that attitude and he's really funny sneak is he has an attitude he what else he's very honest and he's a genuine person he's not just some kind of person who would fake it to make it you know Sneak is definitely one of those creators I really want to meet and have a nice chat with. Just about life, you know? Mm. 
What else? Um, Gracie. Gracie has been a great inspiration for me. Because she's so, like, positive. It's really... Normally, I would like people who would swear or do really crude jokes. But having Gracie blossoming apple leaves, that does not look like it's blossoming. I think textures are being weird. Yeah, textures are definitely being weird. Maybe it's because of... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was that. Okay. Gracie's a very sweet person. Every single time someone subs or follows or says hello, she always says, Hello, I hope you're having a great day. And have a wonderful day. And I... I'm not influenced to be that kind of positive kind of person. Especially around uh, Twitch. Blah. I just gotta keep walking because I heard that. Don't hate me on this, but another inspiration. Say something positive. Okay. Let's see. Everything right now might seem a little dragging, a little negative. Because of, um, not only because of COVID, but because people have lives that can be good or bad. Just know, it'll be all okay. It might seem hard to it might seem hard to really keep going or to heck to even do small things that you used to do. Do new things or do things you really enjoy. Because keeping your mouth off things or talking to friends, it always helps. So make sure to not only check on your friends, but make sure to check on yourself too. I think that made zero sense, but I think you understand what I mean. Stay away from me. Oh. He's just a friend. Oh, he just wanted to say hi to me. Okay. See ya, friend. <laughs> Thank you. I was at one point off. Was the one point because I didn't make any sense? Ah, I didn't even pay attention. Oh god. There we go. I don't like when it whispers like that. It's really creepy. <laughs> I have that problem that when I try to think I, I guess when I try to think about something that's like meaningful or like a joke I, uh, I stutter a lot okay good I'm glad that you understood that I think I'm stuttering more and more. I think that's that's a problem. It's not that I can really do about it. I've always had speech problems ever since I was a little child. Had to go to like uh, speech classes. What the heck happened to that? What happened to you, friend? Why did you get chopped off? What happened? Oh, I've never seen this before. Whoa, this is cool. You see something new every day. Little Alec. What does that mean? I'm older than you. What does that mean?
<sighs> I want that. I tried to. I don't know. I ain't even tried to do. You old. N How am I supposed to know? It's weird. I used to love rap. I listen to rap sometimes, but now I'm just. And eh, about it, you know? Not my kind of, um, cup of coffee, I guess. I guess I would say cup of water because I don't like tea or coffee. I just turned into a beautiful day, isn't it? Oh gosh. Okay, not going in there. Hmm. I do need beds. So. Hi, Cobra. Ah, hi, Cobra. I don't have any water on me, which is very unfortunate. Hello. This is nice. There's never anything in there. More leather, I'll take that. How's my day? Uh, you know, I woke up, ate a little bit, I bet. Uh, decided to. St I should just say my it's going fine. Ooh. Ah. Okay. How's your day going? She on top bed. Cause today is opposite day. <sighs> okay. I should have taken one of those beds, but whatever. Wait. Oh, okay. It's about to say, why did it end? I understand. Yeah, that's kind of how my day went. I woke up at a, and then I saw Rover. Ah, uh, you murked a man. Oh yeah, with the uh, chicken nuggets, he said. Um, my, yeah, I just woke up, ate, and then I watched Rover's stream. Not Rover's stream, uh, Rover's podcast. About recording and streaming with, uh, with Nintendo, or people know my chat as Camp. Yeah, it's really interesting. It wasn't really like funny haha, -ha, but I'm not having a bad day, it's just slow. Yeah, that's how summer is to me. It just feels slow. Especially because I don't have anything else to do with myself. I should get a job because I'm I'm an adult, but that's just definitely not the case, my friend. Just simply not the case. <sighs> oh gosh, tired. I think I'm tired because I've been not stop talking. Is that another village? It sure is. Yeah. I hope I hope summer is like what's been this past few weeks. It's been rainy, cloudy. Staying at like around eighty. I hope it stays like that for the rest of the uh month. Cause, ugh, God. Black? Piss off. Oh, I, I, I also say piss off. Too many people, yeah. yeah. Call skeleton kills. 
Okay, I'll... I guess I could do this. I guess it... Yeah, I guess I could do this. I just need... Five skeleton kills. Why do I hear a pillager? Pillager noise. Oh, that's a bear, I think. Oh, it's a honey badger. Oh, it's a Tasmanian devil. That's what's making that sound. Look at them! They're so cute! They're adorable. Oh, really loud. They're adorable, though! Look at him! Look at this little boy! He's adorable. Okay, a little hype now. <laughs> I thought our honey badgers because it did remind me of a honey badger a little bit. Oh, I did watch. Oh, really? Don't don't spoil anything because I'm sure people have not seen it. Not many people have seen it. It's a really good special. I like I like it. All the songs, well, some of the songs, fit with what he's talking about. That's what I like about it. More men shall die in my hands. More men will die in my hands. Ow. Should probably get skeleton kills. Or none, I guess. Visually, I like it like the third of best. But as a song, the chorus is good, but like. As a song itself, it just. Um, there's a person I saw who described. Yeah, Danny Gonzalez. He described it perfectly. He said, um. What that song is, it's just a list. It's just a list of things that people, I guess, white people do on, on Instagram. I'm not judging you for liking it. I'm just pointing out why I. Yeah, I watch Danny. Watch it because of my sister. When I was 27. I would love to play that if, if I knew if it's copyrighted or not. Journey. I think I like 30, like my, probably the third best song. Uh oh, this is exactly what I fear. It sometimes it just does that. When I was twenty-seven, no wait. When he was twenty-seven, my grandfather fought in the war. When I was twenty-seven, I built a. Oh my God! There it is. Oh gosh, look at that. There it is. I think I know why it's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just... Uh... You know what? I'm gonna... We're gonna do what I, um... The second thing I wanted to do. So we just do the be right back thing.
I'm having difficult, I guess. Except Minecraft is doing this. I was gonna... Yeah. Huh. Okay. I guess I'll just put it on the, um... The be right back screen for a bit. Jeff Bezos. Um... Welcome to the end as, like, my second favorite song. Definitely my second favorite. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Okay, we're not going to do Minecraft right now. Instead, we're going to watch something together. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. There we go. Okay. 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 Hoo wee! Here we go. <laughs> I'm running out of steam pretty fast. Uh, let's just F11. Pop. And then. There it is. Okay. Cool. And have sorry, it's taking so long. Not long. Display capture. Okay. All of you should see this now. Uh, hey, not my fault. <laughs> I think you can see everything. Okay. My name's Rover, and welcome to another episode of the show. Each month, I'll be joined by a different special guest for a ramble conversation. So without further ado, let's introduce today's guest. This month, I'm joined by Minten, who is a content creator over on YouTube and sometimes streams over on Twitch. Minten, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> this right now, I'm going to warn you, Cam is kind of quiet in this one. So, there's a lot of Rover talking and Cam sometimes answering. He's not really in a great state right now, so it makes sense why. So, I just wanted to give you that warning. Slash, hello, I think I've ever heard. <laughs> but yeah. it is lovely to have you here, and I tell you what, I am really smiling at the moment. I was just saying to Nintendo before we started recording that uh, uh, I was really bad at doing the intros, and it was taking me three or four attempts, but we just got that first try, so... Um, Nintendo to, to prove me, so I mean, how they stuff. Nintendo, how are you doing today? I'm alright. It's really, really upbeat, this show, to start yeah. with. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm as good as I can be. Still half dead, you know. Got a job, so. Is that, is that good news? Is that bad news? Uh, I don't know. You have to decide. So, Nintendo, usually at the start of the show, we usually have a bit of a chat about what's been up. Turn it up? Okay. What's been going on in the world? So what have you been up to this week, Well, like I said, go. I got a job. I'm working at Dunkin' Donuts. That's fun. That's not fun. Uh, so it's basically there every day. I got a few days off, but other than that, I've just been Minecraft. That's about it. Don't really do much, to be honest. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts hey, and Minecraft. not a bad combination. <laughs> Free donuts and Minecraft. Can't go wrong. You're welcome. Here. You can't complain. You can't complain. Um, it's, well, it's been a, I was going to say it's been a similar story on my end, but it hasn't been, apart from the Minecraft part. I mean, we're both part of the Minecraft, and, uh, Season 5 has started since the last episode of the podcast, so 
pretty exciting. I think most of my time is going into that at the moment. I, I literally, while we're recording, I'm AFKing on the server, trying to get gunpowder because rockets are soon going to be needed. Um, yeah, it's that's been most of my time, and, and new content and new videos definitely been a big time sponge recently. But uh, I'm hoping the weather would warm up soon because over in the UK it's supposedly summer. It's July, and um, yeah, it's it's cloudy and has rained mostly. So you know that's 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 the way we're going. <laughs> but doesn't it always do that in the UK? It pretty much, pretty much. Um, yeah, no, it it really is. The, the weather can't make its mind up this year. It really is very very strange. Now you may know have my weather. Yeah, well, yeah. Sometimes we. It'd be nice. You, want, you can take it. <laughs> if it's been 90 degrees four days in a row, you can take it. Ooh, that is a very hot. That is a very hot. That is a very hot, I agree. That is a very yeah, hot, so guys. It would be nice to scrap the weather. There are some heavy grey clouds out the window as I'm looking out there at the moment. Uh, I'd rather they pass before they, they dump their rain on us. Um, but Ooh. there we go. Now, you may notice, uh, if you're a regular listener to the podcast, that this episode of the podcast is out just a little bit later. Now, this obviously was... Supposed How to dare you, a Robert? Few, a couple of weeks ago. How dare you? ...scheduling <laughs> and getting this podcast up and running. Uh, we've had to push it back a little bit, but here we are. We're sitting down, and don't worry, there'll be another episode of the podcast coming out at the end of the month. So, yes, make sure to leave all your comments about that one. Um, shall we jump into today's main topic of the show, Mason? <laughs> sure. Let's do it. So this episode of the podcast, we are going to talk about streaming versus recording. I also want to say I'm also going to answer Robert's question as well. <laughs> Dang it, Robert. Um, I'm going to answer Robert's question as well. Not because I I want him to be here. <laughs> no, not at all. It's because I, I generally want to answer these. But let's just get into it. And all that entails with that. Now, you may have noticed throughout sort of the structure of the, the whole show recently, uh, for the past few months, we have looked at these things a little bit before we've touched on them. So I thought it would be a really interesting thing to dedicate a whole episode to. So here we are. I brought over Nintendo, who has streamed before, creates content, all of that jazz. So um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get a bit of an interesting conversation going. Um, so I think let's start with a really, um, let's start, start with an opening question. What do we prefer, streaming or content creation? Personally, it's a little bit of both. I, I think I prefer streaming mostly because I find it a lot easier. I'm not really good with like, oh, okay, bye, editing Shane. videos or stuff like that or even like scheduling them. I find it a lot easier to just set a stream up and then stream for as long as I want. And it also allows me to you know have more interaction with my viewers. Definitely, definitely. I think that is one of those the big things like that. For me personally, I, I way prefer streaming. As I said before in this very stream, I mainly prefer stream because I don't like hearing my voice. It's more of a personal problem, but having the effort to make the video that editing it, I don't know. I just, uh, I just don't see the point, I guess. Stream is a lot of fun for me. Because not only is it, there's some interaction, but I can basically just be myself. And there's no, I don't know. Because when it comes to recording, I'm a, I feel like I'm a very different person. I think everyone is if they're streaming. If they're streaming versus when they're recording. I feel more genuine, you know, streaming. I feel like I'm truly being out there with the people who watch me. I don't know, just more of a personal thing, I guess. It, yeah. That, that interaction with viewers, I think, is sort of the um, one of the main reasons people stream. Is mm -hmm. It's just you get that instant feedback from the viewers. You get that uh, interaction, and it's, it's constant. It's all the time. It's really, really great. Um, Whereas I'm sort of on the other end of the spectrum to you. Whereas I, I agree with you on those streaming things. And um, I do enjoy streaming from time to time. I actually find streaming more difficult for me in terms of scheduling. Trying to find three, uh, two, two and a half hours where I can sit down for that whole two and a half hours. Aha, I stream wherever I want. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter to me, I guess. 
I'm not actually going to do something else. I find quite hard. So that's why I quite like recording where I can just, I can do 10 minutes here, I can do 10 minutes there. And I can, I can sort of jump between and, and fit it around me. Whereas I find streaming quite difficult because you have to be, you, you have to know, okay, those three hours, bam, I've got that time to stream. So that's where I can find it quite difficult. But I guess that sort of depends on, um, depends on your own sort of life, what's going on in the world and, uh, and how things are sort of playing for you at the time. So I do like to stream, but I find mostly I just, I tend to record. Um, yeah. What are your, so compared to recording and streaming, what do you, what are your favorite bits about recording? Hmm. That's a hard question, I guess. I'm, I feel like I'm being in the podcast. I'm not. I just want to honestly answer. Um, the benefits of recording is, I guess, not having all those messy things of streaming where you hear me stuttering, you may... Uh, see, things like that is when people mess up, people stutter or don't they fumble over the words i could just like edit it out so they seem more smart i guess that's what i did with the podcast um with the old nna podcast i edited out my stutters i edited out cams long pauses that cat yeah that kind of thing i personally like but let's see what they say it's a tough question i don't really know like of course i do like recording with friends that's obviously always a fun time and editing all together. I think it's very, I don't know, satisfactory having like everything like fit to what you want. And exactly. Finally done with editing a video together and it fits the vision you wanted for the video. That's always, it's always a good time. It always yeah. feels good knowing that you, you know, accomplished what you set out to do. And just recording in general, it can be a good time. Especially if things go right. Yeah, it is. It, I find I get more of a satisfaction out of putting out an edited video than I do after a stream. After a stream, I will feel tired, thirsty, and my throat will probably hurt. Because <laughs> um, no. after a video that I might have spent more time in, I feel like I get a bit more satisfaction. To me, um... That sense of accomplishment when it comes to streaming is knowing that people had a good time. And if my throat hurts, if I feel tired, that's a sense of accomplishment because I feel like I gave him all my energy to do what I find good and when others feel good. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. Um, but then again... I get more satisfaction in the process of streaming, so I guess it sort of it sort of balances out a little bit. You get more response and more energized during the streaming, and a lot of the times you get actually more motivated once the content's gone out because then people can actually it's there to be enjoyed. Yeah, definitely. So I think I think one of those uh, this sort of links onto the an interesting question. Uh, more focusing down the streaming line now. Um, which I, as you said, you're a bit more, you're a bit more into. Um, what is your experiences with different streaming platforms? What is your favourite? Um, what have you used? Why do you use what you use? What do you use? Um, that sort of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when it comes to streaming, I like to use YouTube. I don't know. I find Twitch is number one, a harder to gain any like any viewers on considering there's so many giant uh twitch streamers so it's harder for smaller content creators to even get you know noticed on twitch and another thing is i feel like twitch is just to me it's needlessly complicated and doesn't really work out for me i completely understand but can i totally understand when you first go to twitch it's very confusing on how um what to do on how to set everything up, but once you know what you're doing, and once you understand how to set the audio, how to start streaming, how to interact with chat, things get a little better. It seems really complicated at first, yes, 
I'm you get a little um a sense of nervousness to even stream it in the first place, but overall I think yeah, once you start getting into it, it's a lot easier to deal with. And about um it's harder to get viewers. Sure, it can be harder, but it doesn't mean people don't go to your channel and follow you or chat with you. Sure, it's harder for people to to watch you because Twitch is totally different from YouTube. But still, I think it's for me it's more accomplishing what people end up finding my stream. It's really fun because just today I got two followers. Um thank you Alien Gross to for follow us again. That feeling of like not having the same fans over not the same viewers over and over again, you could get more people once you get into the groove of it. I think that's when you feel like it, Twitch is worth it. Because on YouTube, yeah, he, he, he says it here uh, later on. YouTube is... Sure, you get the same people watch you. Because you ev everyone uses YouTube. So he gets the same, like, 10 viewers. But... Sure, I get, like, 3 views. E not 3 views. 3 watchers? But it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't matter if no one's there or someone's there. As long as at the end of the day people are enjoying it, I don't really mind. I don't know, I just want to... Yeah, let's see what he, what he said. Plus I like YouTube's you know, ha ability to have thumbnails for different streams. I, I don't know, I like I like the options of diversity for my streams. Okay, I understand what he means. So basically, he likes the thumbnails. Yeah, thumbnails are interesting. But for streams, it doesn't really matter. Because streams just go there and that's it. You don't need thumbnails. People do it, sure. I think I did it. Um, when I first... It was the first time I've ever streamed on YouTube. It was the... On Mother Class Season 4 Hunger Games. Back when I was still in it, I think. That was complicated for me. Streaming on YouTube is complicated for me. Because it's... I'm used to just, like, press and record. That's it. Not record. Uh, stream. That's it. But with YouTube, you have to do so many different things, and... For me, I think YouTube is more complicated than Twitch. I don't know. And most of my audience is already on YouTube, so yeah. I might as well just stick there. Because then they'll be able to see what I'm doing there, instead of having to go to a completely different website. Yeah, yeah, that was, um... See, I've, I've been one of those... I, people, I, I have actually jumped a lot between Twitch and YouTube. Um, and... They've been for sort of different reasons. So I think I started off streaming on YouTube here and there. Um, and then I switched to Twitch for a little bit. And then I went back to YouTube. And now I've gone back to Twitch. Um, and I've, in, in a similar way to you, I've found a similar sort of story. But um, I find when I'm on YouTube, I get my regular viewers coming through. Um, and I'll get sort of my main reach to those, those set viewers. Whereas if I'm on Twitch, I will get newer people coming through. But because it's not any any longer linked to my YouTube channel, I don't have that sort of core audience because I'm not as active over there. So I don't have that core audience that come back every time. Um, so I found it I found it hard balance. But I've sort of come to the conclusion myself that I want to now when I stream, I'm now going to just completely do it on Twitch. And that's mostly down to sort of a whole bunch of YouTube issues that there have been in the past with streaming, and it's not very well integrated into the YouTube platform compared mm -hmm. to how videos are um, and I I haven't found the discovery on YouTube too well I haven't reached those new people that I would want to 
Um, I think the only time I ever reach new people when streaming on YouTube is is titling a video High Pixel Bed Wars or something <laughs> like that. Then then you get like twenty people coming in. Can I play with you? I do remember that Rover did stream. I do remember watching Rover stream, and I see like three people saying, "Can I get into your Bed Wars? Can I get to your Bed Wars?" And Rover over is like, "No." I'm not going to give you to my bed walls. This is just for me and my buds there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Every single time I talk about Rover, I always go back to a British accent. It's weird. It's funny, though. Um, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I decided to make that switch to have those two dedicated platforms for streaming content creation. That means I've got my dedicated video audience and I can then grow my Twitch audience. Uh -huh. What I've seen other people do, they've taken completely different routes. Now, two previous guests on the podcast have done the two different routes here. So, Septic Spud, who recently joined at Mattercraft, um, he has, I spoke to him a while back, and I, it may have even been in the podcast episode he was in, and, and we were talking, and he said he's gonna, he wants to dedicate his content production purely to YouTube, hence why he streams on YouTube. Um, and he's got a second channel for his streams and all of that business. Whereas Bloop did the complete opposite. He's actually more taken a break from YouTube and has gone fully onto Twitch to yeah. stream. So there's definitely pros and cons to both sides. Um, and it's such a it's such a difficult area because I think how how did you get into streaming? I think that's that's an interesting question. How did you get into the whole process of streaming? Good. That's a good question. I'm not quite sure. It was a long time ago that I started streaming. In fact, I think the first video on my channel right now is a live stream. That's so, true. I don't Brilliant. know. I think I just was like, you know what? I see all my favorite YouTubers stream, so I'm going to press this stream button on OBS. And I think that's really all of the story behind it. I don't think there's anything groundbreaking of why I wanted to stream. I just kind of wanted to try it out. The reason why I streamed is, well, yeah, because many of my, many people I watch on YouTube end up streaming on Twitch. And I just enjoy listening to Twitch because, I don't know, you have more fan interaction, I guess, compared to just making recorded videos. And then Cam started streaming. Well, he streamed on Mixer first, and then Twitch, and then, no, then YouTube, then on Twitch, and then back to YouTube. I watched him, and I was like, okay, this seems fine. This seems easy. And for the most part, it is. It's easy to stream, as long as you know what you're doing. Because <laughs> the first, like, ten streams, I was trying to figure out my audio settings, how it worked, where, what level I had put to be in, and what kind of music I had to play in the background. Oh yeah, back to the question. I keep rambling. Um, the most like motivated because of yeah content creators. Um, I think Cam is also another good reason. And who else? What else? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So I did. Yeah. And I yeah. liked it. Yeah, and I, I think, I'm trying to think back, but I think mine was a very similar process. Uh, I think it was back in maybe late 2017, early 2018, I would have started streaming. Um, and my channel was, was beginning to grow at that point after about sort of six, seven months of being pretty slow and not much happening. Um, and I think I must have done a similar thing. I just decided one day to stream. Um, yeah. But I tell you what I found difficult was learning how to stream. Yeah. I've always found that, uh, well, at first I found it really difficult. Now it's now it's a simple process. You've got to copy your stream key in. Exactly. Actually learning how to do that. When, when you watch other people's videos and and content and streams online you don't they don't explain how you're going to be doing this in in a regular video that you watch every day um you just you go there for the content it's there but then it's learning that whole process of okay you've got to get a stream key from the platform put that into your encoder which is generally a lot of people use obs stream labs obs um 
and then move and and then you should be able to good to go so that's that's an interesting thing um but yeah i i found it quite difficult to start with and i actually still find it difficult doing all the sort of designing for the streams like do you have the chat on the screen uh where do your pop-up notifications go what do they look like doing all that branding um how have you found that have you have you ever really played around with that or do you just purely stream and then you watch the chat and respond to it how do you usually uh, how do you create that content i normally i don't know i kind of mix it up when it's games that i can you know not really pay full attention to i'll just look at the chat but when I have to like focus on what I'm doing, then I'll have the chat on the screen, so that way it will help me read the chat and also focus on what I'm doing. And yeah. when it comes to like all the like the setting up the stream, stream keys, getting like all that done, I've never really had a problem with it. Although recently, uh, Streamlabs has decided to mess up everything because I don't know if you know this, but if you use Streamlabs OBS and you try to stream on YouTube, instead of going to the YouTube studio to stream, everything is now inside of Streamlabs OBS. But it will also mess up YouTube really? studio. So you have to make sure both are exactly the same, or else it will start two streams at once. Whoa. Which is a pain. Wow, I have not heard about that, and that I think shows that I, last time I streamed, I can't remember, it must have been the Mathcraft Tuesday, and that was over on Twitch, so it must have been ages ago since I last streamed on YouTube. I'll have to have a look, I'll have to see if I can find it during the recording of the show uh, when I last streamed, but yeah, and you raise um, an interesting point, and this will probably be the first tangent that we go down. Um, there are lots of different encoders out there that people use, most popular being OBS. But there's also Streamlabs OBS, which is a little bit more dedicated to stream streaming. Um, and I use, uh, I personally use Streamlabs for both streaming and recording. As you said, through my screen using display capture, I also use um, Streamlabs. OBS, it's more of a recording thing for me. I don't know, it's kind of like having one thing to stream one thing for another, not just like switch it up over and over again. So I don't actually record or actually stream when I want to record or stream. Um, what do you use and why? So I found out it's easier to use Streamlabs OBS for both streaming and recording. I just like the way it's set up and it's a lot, you know, com more comfortable to use. And I've ha always had issues with OBS, like a lot of issues with regular OBS. Mm. In fact, a lot of the times I've tried to get your help, and you have helped me a few times. But I've never really had any issues with Streamlabs. It's just been a more comfortable thing to use, and I know you know how to use it. So I've always just decided I'm just going to use it for both streaming and recording. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah, definitely. Um, I I was in a very very similar place. I think I started off by using OBS to record, as I think most people do, and then <clears throat> I saw on Twitter and some streams here and there that people were just every so often mentioning snobs so i went and had a look at snobs so snob stands for streamlabs uh, open broadcasting software so streamlabs obs and i went to their website i downloaded it and i remember before downloading it and taking a look i remember reading on the website that it said something along the lines of um there must have been a quote from a user or something that gave a review that said this changed my life changed the way i record and stream and i in my cynical way, looked at it and went, no, don't believe that for a second. How can how can just a different platform that's quite similar to OBS change everything? I downloaded it and it changed everything. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> and by the way, this episode of the podcast is not sponsored by Streamlabs OBS. This is an honest review. This stream is not sponsored by Stream OBS too. I don't think I've ever been in that situation, but yeah, I am not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Rover Rhyme of Rover Rainbow podcast is why it's so hard to say. The Rover Rainbow podcast as well. I just want to watch it. Um, <laughs> downloaded it. And it is so not easy sponsored to by you, Cam. It's got so many integrations built into it. So if you're going streaming, you can have the chat on screen. It's easy. You create a, a chat box or whatever, and it will automatically links up. You have pop ups enabled, all of that sort of stuff. It's brilliant. Streamlabs OBS is just. It's OBS, it's like a more 
default out version of OBS, which is the whole point of OBS. It's permit, it's allowed to do that. It's whole, it's an open open broadcasting software, so you can adapt to it. Um, and yeah, that that really really made a difference. And I have just looked up on my channel when I last streamed to YouTube, and it was tenth of October, twenty twenty. So feral bucket time ago now. Uh, feral bucket time. But yeah, yeah. I imagine it was twenty nineteen. It are just it changed everything. Uh, to be fair, on I still have OBS installed on my computer. It's my backup. One downside to OBS is I always find it does updates as soon as I want to record. So I open OBS to rec uh, slobs to record, and um, it has to download an update, which takes five minutes. It, it's some of those updates are massive, take way too long, um, and I find that frustrating. So I do have regular OBS. Boo hoo! <laughs> to OBS has failed me. Um, I mean, for example, I'm even using OBS to record parts of the audio for this podcast um, because I don't need the bulked out version of OBS uh, slobs to do that. So, yeah, yeah, no, it's um, both both have their merits. But I think overall Streamlabs is uh, is definitely the way forward. So if you're listening in and trying to get into this whole game, get Streamlabs. It's definitely the way forward. So back to sort of the streaming thing as we were on that sort of path, what sort of what are the big standout disadvantages to the whole streaming game i think cab will probably say it um for me the biggest disadvantage is for me not many people watch my streams but for me i don't really care but it's more of a like oh no one watches it so what's the point i guess it's more to be motivated other than just I just want more views. It's more of... I just want people to watch it to see if they enjoy it or not. And if I don't see anyone really watch it, then what's the point, I guess? Um, well, finding time to stream can be a big pain because you have to have dedicated, like, set times. You gotta know that you won't be busy for the set amount of time you want to stream. As well as making sure a stream goes well because when live streaming things can go wrong in an instance and it can completely ruin a live stream it can Where but it can be funny <laughs> if something goes wrong you can fix it so i feel like if anything goes wrong it's funny <laughs> so i see that more as something to be laughed at like for example bubble bash thing i tried to play i accidentally um me and my mic, and they can hear me. Sorry about that, let's continue. There's just a, a lot more risk involved with streaming. Least, yeah, opinion. definitely. I'm very much with you. And I think one of the big things cannot always be uh, internet can be a big issue because if you think if you're streaming on a Minecraft server or something, you've got to have that internet bandwidth to be able to connect to the server, be able to play well on the server because you don't want to be jumping around and lagging out like mad. Um, and you also need to be able to send that data to YouTube or Twitch or whatever your streaming platform is, um, again, without that buffering and all of those issues. So I always find the internet side of things, um, it's never been too much of a battle for me, but time, the odd time here and there, oh, it's caused me pain. And with recording, it's not an issue. As long as you can connect, for me, example, to your Minecraft server, it's fine. I, I don't have to worry about my my footage becoming all jumpy um, because of connection issues. So oh, I'm definitely okay. with you. I think that is one big downside. Um, so on the other That's side kind of a... things, um, on the recording side what do you find is a bit of a uh, what do you prefer about recording over over streaming that's a good question i don't really know because i've always preferred streaming when it comes to recording i do like you know being able to separate things and not have to do everything at once i also uh enjoy the fact that you know I can do things without, you know, interruptions. And when I do them, if there are interruptions, I can just, you know, cut it out and stuff like that. But when it comes to, like, 
recording, I don't really, I don't really know what advantages I would have over streaming, besides, you know, recorded videos seem to get a lot more attention on YouTube than streams. Yeah, yeah. What would you say, um, now I'm broadening this even more now, but what's, what are the, let's talk about YouTube a bit, and I know we've done an episode of the podcast on YouTube already, um, but YouTube, what are your sort of total opinions on the platform itself? YouTube is a great platform. Yeah, it has some issues, especially, you know, with the content creators on it and just the way YouTube manages the whole website itself. But if you look past some of its more glaring issues, I think it's a really good place. If it's glaring, that's an issue, though. If it's obvious that YouTube has its problems, Twitch also has problems as well. Like the DMCA thing. That has completely screwed everyone. And also that um, the Twitch... You know that word. Twitch monitors ban people for literally no reason and keep going with people who, well, I guess girls who would have the attention. Twitch has its human problems. YouTube has its bot problems. Bots delete things, copyright things for no apparent reason. I don't know. I just think that they're both bad. But YouTube is kind of better because you can get past that if you don't record or or anything like I do. Like, I don't have to worry about it besides the VOD channel. I've never personally had any problems with it. And I don't think it's nearly as bad as other people make it out to be. Yeah, it can be a pain sometimes, but it's not that bad. It's still a really great place for people to put out stuff they're passionate about so i've always like it very much enjoyed youtube and i've never really had any problems with it personally i never have any problems with it but it's just what i've heard and what i've witnessed youtube is it's a mixed coin to me if that makes sense it's a mix it's a mixed bag and I hope it stays around for a long time to come because I think it's a great platform. Yeah, I've uh, I've I've been thinking about this recently, the whole YouTube thing, and I was I was thinking YouTube has uh, dominated the market so so well in in terms of video creation. Um, but then again, if you look on the other side of things, so streaming, there have been other platforms out there, and Twitch has sort of emerged as the top platform. So there was things like Mixer, which is now dead. Yeah. Um, I can't remember when that went out. That was only fairly recently that that got shut down by, I think that was Microsoft. So Twitch have now sort of taken over. Obviously, YouTube still had this streaming side, which they are seeming to push more and more as this whole YouTube gaming brand. Um, they're, they're trying to push this a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting to see. And I did wonder, do you think there will ever be a competitor to YouTube? No. No, there always will be competitors, but I feel like YouTube competitors, if they ever become really popular, I think Google will automatically just, like, derise them. It's kind of a, business-wise, a great idea, but it's also bad. Like, you want other things. Like, there were other things that people went to. I think Vimo is a good example. I, th I think that's the right website. People went there because they thought YouTube was, like, going down for good because of, um, that's Apocalypse 2. Because what everything was going on. I made an account there. Tons of people made an account there because it was also when YouTube had that strict kind of, like, if it's, if you see, like, one little, one little booby or one little peepee, -pee, it's gone for good. That's it. Unless it's education. But with animation, it's completely screwed up. And other things like that. Whereas, in like, I don't think it's Vimo. That, that's, that's something else. But the one I'm thinking of, you could do 
almost wherever you want. You can upload old videos or go to there and see if you get more traction. <sighs> I had an account there. I almost uploaded videos where like, what's the point? I don't even upload videos anymore, so I don't see the point of it. Imagine one day Twitch starts saying you can upload it, upload your videos to the platform. That will never work. A Twitch made a video um, thing. It will feel like it will feel like YouTube when it comes to their streaming. YouTube streaming, they don't know what they're doing. They're very new to it. They don't really know how to deal with it because they're used to people uploading. And that's it. They don't. They're not used to people streaming. So if Twitch started a YouTube one, that Twitch started a video segment, that's a really bad idea. And people would go to Twitch more for it. How would that even work? Is the question. To me, that doesn't make any sense. But whatever. And Twitch are now mostly streaming based but also video based platform, whereas YouTube is mostly video based but also a streaming platform. Do you think do you think there's ever a chance or possibility that YouTube could be overthrown or overtaken as the top dog in uh, in video creation? No. I feel like YouTube has been around for so long and everybody knows what YouTube is and even like a ten year old knows how to work YouTube and how to do YouTube things. I feel like if Twitch was ever just like, yeah, you can upload videos now, I don't feel like many people would because people go to Twitch for one thing and one thing only, streaming. Yeah. When you when people watch YouTube, they're expecting a bunch of different things, and that's why they upload to YouTube because people are expecting videos. They're expecting videos, movies, um, episodes of things. Maybe even streaming, but streaming's optional because not that many people do it. I don't think it will ever be dethroned as like a video creation website. I think definitely Twitch will always stay above with ho the whole streaming thing. But with when it comes to video creation, I feel like YouTube has already made their mark and they're gonna stay for a while and they're gonna stay on top because everybody uses YouTube at this point. Yeah, you're right. And just while you were talking, I looked up some of the statistics for YouTube. They have uh, over 2 billion active users a month. That's that's almost uh, a third of the world's population. Um, <laughs> one in three people use YouTube actively every month, um, which, is, which is quite mind-blowing. I wasn't expecting it to be that much. Um, I thought it would be a little bit less, but that is a lot. Um, and I mean, there's there's loads of stats I've got up in front of me now. Um, uh, over yeah, two billion logged in users. So that's that's not even including the non logged in users. So there must be more. Um, watch over a billion hours of video um, every day. A billion hours of video every day. Wow. And also generate obviously billions of views from that. They're mind boggling numbers. Um, but I think you're right. When when you put it into that sort of perspective that. As about a third of the world's population use YouTube on a monthly basis. Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to be uh, threatened at any time soon. But then again, if there was to be a competitor, which YouTube has definitely had its problems. We've had all sorts of chaos, even in the past two, three years. Things like uh, Save Our Internet and that whole... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that whole campaign. And to be fair, that wasn't YouTube's fault. Um, but And again, there's still quite a bit of ambiguity about all of that. There's also been COPPA, which has been quite a recent issue around child safety. And oh, COPPA, yeah. yeah. If you're interested in an episode on child and all these sort of child safety protections um, and internet safety protections, I'm hoping to get a guest on, on the next episode of the podcast where we'll be talking about this quite soon. Um, but that's a little side note, so make sure you're following all the podcasts in the right places. Um, yeah, I think, it's, I think YouTube's definitely had some issues, and I think there could have been some chances where if a competitor had come in at the right time, there would have been a big audience which has shifted, which could easily be swayed to a different platform, I think. Um, and I think it'll be interesting. And obviously competition's a really good thing. I think Twitch is actually entering a bit of a different, a difficult place. And I think it, long term it might be because 
it it's coming into this place where YouTube that it is dominating the market. There's there's no one higher. There's no one better really. Um, YouTube are trying to compete a little bit, but I don't think they'll e ever be at the stage where Twitch is because Twitch is dedicated to streaming, nothing else. Um, and I do wonder. I think it'd be good if there were other platforms out there. Yeah. That weren't uh, sort of linked to these big corporation and brands. Google, obviously being YouTube, Facebook, another big one, Apple, um, that would actually compete and would increase the standards on all platforms because that is the general rule of business is where there's competition, people will have to strive to be the best so people go and use their platform and, and fundamentally make them money. Um, so and that I, would be I, enough. I think it would be, I, it'd be great. I'd love, to see, I'd love to see another platform emerge and do well, but realistically, do I think it's going to happen? No. no, probably not. <laughs> um, I, I can't can't see that happening anytime soon. But yeah, it it would be interesting. Um, so Cam, back on the recording side of things, what would, what how is your what's your process like for recording a video? What's your general general rule of thumb? What you okay? I'm starting to get tired. I would finish this, but it's another twenty minutes. But I think that's the end. Uh, thank you guys, everyone, for watching. Uh, two hours. Wow. It's been two hours. Um, yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy your rest of the day. See you all later. Take care.